On January 18th, Hyuna shocked everyone when she posted a picture of herself walking down the beach with a man. Whatever fans thought was happening was cleared up by the caption, which was a couple emoji. In other circumstances, everyone would have been supportive of her, but not this time. Although it's always controversial when idols date, Hyuna got a lot of support when she revealed that she was dating Dawn back in 2018, even when Cube Entertainment terminated both of their contracts over the fact that they had gone behind the company's back, fans had supported the two every step of the way. Hyuna got even more admiration for not conforming to idol norms and doing everything to be freely in love, even if that meant leaving the company she had been with for 10 years. So it wasn't the dating that everyone had a problem with, but who she was dating. Even though both Hyuna and the man had their backs turned to the camera in the announcement post, she left no room for wondering as she tagged her boyfriend, who turned out to be former Highlight member Yong Jun Hyung. He also posted the picture on his own account and both of them asked the fans for their love and support. But what is so controversial about her boyfriend and why is everyone against the relationship. If you were to ask old Hyuna fans, this relationship was a long time coming. They hit the stage around the same time, Hyuna with 4 Minute and Jun Young with Highlight, formerly known as Beast, and they were under the same company. In fact, when Hyuna made her solo debut with Change, Jun Young was featured on the track and they spent a lot of time together. Even the stages in which the two were performing the track were oozing with tension. In general, they often got teamed up in Cube Family shows because they were both rappers, and if we're being honest, they worked really well together. They hit it off from the very beginning and became close, and there were even rumors about them dating from the start of their careers. They were also very touchy and flirty with each other, which led fans to think that there was something more between them. If you go back to the videos that fans made of them, you would know that they were one of the most popular ships. Then, in 2011, Jun Hyung started dating Gu Hara, who was one of Hyuna's closest friends, which is an important detail to remember as it has a direct connection to why people are boycotting Hyuna at the moment. Around the same time, Troublemaker was formed, so the interactions between Jun Hyung and Hyuna decreased severely. After all, Jun Hyung was in a relationship and Hyuna had to sell the idea that she was more connected to Hyun Sung, Jun Hyung's bandmate from Beast and Hyuna's partner in Troublemaker. It was said that Jun Hyung allegedly wasn't a fan of Hyuna and Hyun Sung's steamy performances and was jealous of the two to the point that his relationship with Hyun Sung was strained and the two didn't get along well as bandmates anymore. Because of everything, people rarely saw the two interact together, even after Jun Hyung and Hara broke up. He and Hyuna then appeared on Happy Together in August of 2016, which was a surprise, especially to Jun Hyung fans. According to them, Jun Hyung wasn't exactly a fan of going on variety shows due to his shy nature, but went there because of Hyuna. If you watch clips from the episode, you can see how nervous he appears, but Hyuna manages to make him very comfortable. The two appeared to be very close and were even being teased by the hosts about the nature of their relationship. Another point in their relationship was Jun Young's appearance on Hyuna X19, which aired back in 2016. This was a reality show which followed Hyuna as she was preparing to release her album Awesome. In the second episode of the show, Hyuna and Jun Young have a late night meal and have very open chats about their careers and basically everything else. He shared his disappointment about not getting to promote more, and they dove into the pressures of meeting public expectations. He even expressed his hope that Hyuna could find happiness in doing what she truly loved. Shippers were over the moon because once again, nothing about their interactions seemed platonic. It was even said that Jun Hyung dedicated a few of his songs to Hyuna and that he was in love with her or at least had a crush on her while he was dating Hara. Of course, these are just speculations, but considering their long history with each other, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to think so. The next few years went by fast. The two stopped interacting publicly and then the Hyuna and Dawn scandal unraveled. Jun Hyung, as well as the rest of Highlight left Cube Entertainment and Hyuna and Dawn then broke up in November of 2022. It seems like she started dating Jun Hyung just a year later. SpotV released an exclusive report on January 21st of this year, saying that the two had been seen on a flight together in November of last year from Korea to the United States. They also visited a restaurant together in the same month, confirmed by the establishment itself. Judging by Hyuna's Instagram pictures, they possibly took another trip together last month as she made posts from the same beach in the same clothes. The official relationship announcement came on January 18th, with Hyuna asking the fans to look over them prettily. When asked for clarification, the agencies of both artists found it difficult to comment since it had to do with their personal lives and not their professional careers. This was when fans started looking into Jun Young's past and when everything went downhill. To give you more context, in 2019, the Jung Jun Young Kakao Talk chat rooms were one of the many messed up things that were discovered during the Burning Sun investigation. The leaked messages from Jun Young's phone showed that many group members, most of them idols, shared hidden camera videos of women that were filmed without their consent. It was thought that one of the members of the group chat only only referred to as Singer Yong was Jun Young. His agency was quick to deny that he was part of the group chat, but said that the conversation that was shared in the news
Yoo's, believed to be Jun Young's messages to the group chat, was initially a one-on-one -on -one talk between him and Jun Young. According to the agency, Jun Young was going through a tough time with a personal issue in 2016, so Jun Young had reached out to check up on his friend. Jun Young then explained that he had been caught secretly taking a video and sending it to someone else, accompanied by a bunch of laughing emojis. In response, Jun Young asks him whether he was caught by the woman, which just means that even though he wasn't in the group chat, he was very well aware of what his friend was doing and his habit of filming women without their knowledge or consent. Sure, maybe he wasn't in the group chat, but he didn't report the illegal activities that his friend was doing, which wasn't any better, so we're very confused about why his agency thought that this was an appropriate response to his accusations. Then Jun Young admitted that not only did Jun Young send him the illegally taken video, but said that he watched it and made inappropriate comments about it. In his own statement, he explained the background of the Kakao Talk messages with Jun Young from late 2015, saying that they had been out for drinks the night before, and Jun Young asked how he was doing the next day. Jun Young admitted to getting caught after sending illegal video footage to someone, and Jun Young casually responded, You got caught by her? Although he didn't receive a video at that time, he did on a different occasion. Jun Young also engaged in inappropriate conversations about it, acknowledging that all these actions were immoral and foolish. He admitted to treating it lightly without recognizing the gravity of the situation as a crime and an illegal act. He said sorry to his fans and everyone who was shocked by the news but didn't acknowledge anything about how his and his friends' actions affected the victims. In the same statement, he announced that he would be leaving Highlight. Since the law decided that he technically didn't do anything wrong, he wasn't sentenced, but he lost his reputation and was seen just like the rest of the Burning Sun criminals by the public. He went into hiding until November of 2022 and then came back by releasing a mini-album titled Loner. During the press conference for the release of the album, Jun Hyung clarified once again, I was not involved in any kind of group chat. However, I full-heartedly admit that I committed wrongdoings in the process of chatting and I regret I could not have corrected myself. I will work to share only good news from now on. Knowing all this, you can understand why people were so thoroughly disappointed by Hyuna's decision to date him so openly, knowing that he didn't care that his friends caused a lot of harm to women. Soon as the news dropped and everyone found out about Jun Hyung's past, Hyuna's biggest fan pages, both domestic and international, closed down. She also lost hundreds of thousands of followers, some of them being Hyuna's closest friends in the industry, one of them being Miss A's former member Jia, who used to be one of Hyuna's best friends. 2AM's Joe Kwan also removed his follow, but later clarified that the two were still on good terms. It was just shocking to see Hyuna, who had been admired by female fans for being unapologetically herself and not caring about anything, openly date someone like Jun Hyung. In addition to that, Hyuna also used to be a friend of Gu Hara's, who was Jun Hyung's ex-girlfriend, as we mentioned earlier. However, when the Burning Sun scandal surfaced, Hara didn't stick by her ex. Instead, she took matters into her own hands and personally contacted the reporter handling the case of Jun Young's chat room, actively working to bring down the members who were involved. Hara herself was a victim of being filmed without her consent, so the fact that one of her closest friends is dating someone like Jun Young is extremely disappointing. Knowing all this, we can't help but wonder what was going through Hyuna's head when she announced the relationship. The two have been close for nearly 20 years and were even flirting with each other when Hyuna was dating Dawn, but everyone thought she had cut off contact in 2019, even if we ignore the morality issues of this whole thing, this relationship doesn't make sense in a PR way either. She must have known that the public would disapprove of it and that her career, as well as the public's perception of her, would have been affected by this. It's also being said that her company at Area had no idea about this, which is definitely weird, and as we know, the companies really need to know about their idols dating in order to prevent public disasters, like this one. According to former Girls' Generation member Jessica, it's easier for the companies to step in and fix things if idols tell them about their relationships in advance so they do not really stop them from dating. They just want to be aware of the situation. Despite the situation being different, Hyuna didn't let Cube know about her relationship announcement back when she was with Dawn either, so this technically the second time that this happened. She's always been unbothered by what others think and was true to herself in all the decisions she made, whether it was about her personal life or career, which is why she was so widely liked in the first place. Because of this, maybe Hyuna created the belief that she could date anyone, and her fans would unquestionably support her because she was brave and bold with her decisions, which is not what happened. It's either this, or she knew that the news was going to get leaked, so she took matters into her own hands. However, one thing is for sure, she doesn't care about Jun Young's past or the way he and his friends treated women. She also doesn't care about the backlash that she'd get or how this situation would unravel, which is strange. Even though she's one of the most popular and beloved artists in the industry, certainly her career will never be the way it used to be. The amount of support she has lost in the past few days was incredible, and both Korean and international fans have united in their disapproval 
battle against her, asking for boycott of anything that she puts out. Even her biggest fans didn't make any excuses about her and went to call her out. But since she has been posting on Instagram like nothing has happened, it doesn't seem like she cares about the issue all that much, which is disappointing.